Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Peace Life Paldean Fate Stack video, and today I wanted to try a deck that played all three Galarian birds in it. I wanted to play the Galarian Moltres V, the Galarian Zapdos V, and the Galarian Articuno V in a single deck, and this is what I have cooked up for today's video. It basically is a V-Box pile deck. It's literally a pile. It plays all different types of attackers that all revolve around using the special energy, Luminous Energy, which when it is attached to a Pokemon, it can provide a rainbow energy effect, but it can only be the only special energy on that Pokemon in order to do it. So if you have two Luminous Energy on a Pokemon, Luminous Energy cancels itself out and does not provide a rainbow energy. The idea of the deck is, let's say your opponent's active Pokemon is, you know, weak to lightning. You want to attack with Raikou. You can Melanie and Water Energy to the Raikou and then attach a Luminous Energy from your hand to the Raikou to power up Lightning Rondo. That's basically the idea of this deck. It's actually pretty fun to play. We have all different types of attackers in the deck to hit for weaknesses. We got Grass. We got Fire. We got Fighting, we got Dark, we got Metal in the deck, and we have some other big attackers like the Palkia V-Star, which is a really good a beat stick attacker, just nice to have, it does big damage, has a lot of health, and you can abuse it with Star Portal with Radiant Greninja, which we do play in the deck here, obviously, because Concealed Cards is really good in a deck that plays Melanie, but also because you can attack with Moonlight Shuriken. A lot of the time, you're just trying to go 2-2-2 two, two, two this deck, basically. And you're, yeah, you're just ba you're a counter box deck at the end of the day. And I wanted to play all three Galarian birds. Zapdos is a fighting Pokemon. Really good when you're playing against Arceus V-Star and Maridon, to be specific. Because you can easily power up Thunderous Kick with its ability Fighting Instinct, where its attacks will cost one colorless less for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. If you're playing against Maridon and they have two Vs in play... Thunder's Kick only needs two energy to attack. If you're playing against Arceus and they have multiple Vs in play, which a lot of the time they will, Thunder's Kick only needs like one to two energy to attack. And then Galarian Moltres is also a dark Pokemon. Really good against me VMAX. Sadly, Articuno is like the weakest link in the deck. It's not really that good of an attacker, but I did want to play it because I wanted to play all three birds in the deck. So I wanted to play this card regardless. And it isn't bad. I mean, Reconstitute does let you discard two cards from your hand in order to draw a card. If you prize Radiant Greninja, honestly, this isn't a bad card have in play if you do prize the Greninja because you can use its ability to draw you more cards and you can attack with Psyray if you're up against a deck weak to Psychic. There's not a lot of those out there but if you happen to play against Lane weak to Psychic you do have the option to do Psyray too. Now before I do the video shout to the sponsor Card Cabin TCG of course if you're looking for any PTCG live pack codes get them over at Card Cabin if you're looking to get Temporal Forces codes when the set does drop in just a week or so you can get your Temporal Forces codes over at Card Cabin if you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout use my discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and help our Card Cabin so shout out Card Cabin check them out use code LDF also check out the Shuffle Squad down below and my second YouTube channel I actually just did a video where I looked at the top 10 best cards within Temporal Forces so if you you want to go learn a bit more about the set and see what's good check out that video here on the second channel link down below but yeah this is the luminous energy pile deck actually it's a deck that's existed before shout out to sawyer melbin for i guess originating the deck idea a while back um, and i've kind of updated it um, again, we are playing a ton of different Pokemon in the deck, a ton of V Pokemon. The deck does center around the Luminous Energy and the Melanie combo. Like, all the attackers in the deck, apart from the Articuno, can attack for just two energy. So, effectively, you can just go Melanie, attach Luminous Energy, and attack with everything in the deck. We could have played Suicune V in the deck, too, I guess. Um, but Palkia, I think, is just a better card than Suicune. Suicune comes up a little bit against Entei Valiant if you play against that. Um, but I, I thought that Suicune was kind of unnecessary in here, because, like, I think Articuno, um, Zapdos, Moltres, Raikou, Entei are just the better trio cards to use, but Suicune could be good in here if you really want to play a Suicune. It can attack on the first turn of the game, thanks to Melanie. It might be worth trying out Suicune in the deck, I guess, but that's here nor there. We do play the one Research, one Boss, one Iono, but we have a lot of Energy Acceleration in the deck. Now, we do play the four Melanie, but there are other cards in the deck I wanted to briefly mention here, like there is the Raihan in the deck. Fantastic card. It actually guarantees you a Luminous Energy, which is very key. And there's also Thornton. Thornton is really good with our, uh, Moltres. Moltres, not only is it a good attacker with its uh, Dark type, it also is a very important card to have in this deck. It's actually one of the centerpieces of the archetype. Because in the early game, you have Palkia, you have Melanie. In the late game, Articuno accelerates energy to itself. So every turn, you can kind of just sit there, build it up with Dire Flame Wings. And then in the late game, if you have to go Thornton into a Pokemon. So let's say you're playing against Goldengo and your opponent's got a Goldengo. You need to go Entei twice. So they kill your Entei. You need to go back in Entei to win the game. What you can do is you can go Moltres, Dire Flame Wings Energy onto it. If you have a Luminous Energy in your hand, attach Luminous Energy to the Moltres and then play the Thornton, turning a Moltres into Entei. So Moltres Thornton is a very 
crucial combo in the deck because you can't Thornton and Melanie in the same turn. So Moltres will already have energy on it, so you don't have to Melanie to it. Energy Switch Moltres is also an active combo. If you have to play Research or something in this deck, you can also Energy Switch the Dark Energy off of Moltres to a Pokemon to power it up instead of relying on Melanie or something. So that's another reason why Moltres is so key. I am playing Beberol for some extra draw in the deck. This deck can be pretty bad against Iono. Mew EX also in the deck because of Iono. You can theoretically attack with Mew, though with the double energy switch and stuff. So it is not bad to have within the deck. I'm pretty sure you all know what every type is for. Shaman's for Charizard, Entei's for Goldengo, uh, Zapdos, Berserker's obviously good against Gold, uh, Shen Pao. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the list. Uh, let's go try it out on TCG Live and let's show off how crazy this deck is. And we'll see how many attackers we actually get to use in today's video. We're up against Goldengo here. All right, uh, not a bad matchup. We do have Entei V in the deck, I guess, which is obviously a really good attacker. If they bench up Palkia, we do have Raikou. They do bench Palkia. My opponent is going first. Kind of actually sucks for us, considering the matchup. And especially when they have Earth and Vessel and a VIP pass. That's not what we want to see. Oh my goodness. Not like this. Our hand's kind of mid, to be honest. I don't have an energy. If I had an energy card, this hand would actually be okay, because then I can immediately go for a Treasure Rush. It's not good. Yeah, there's Battle VIP. Oh boy. I think we have the Iono, to be honest. Yeah, we're probably going to have the Iono here. We're going to have to go for the Iono. My opponent hit double VIP Earth and Vessel. That's really bad. I don't like that. This uh, Berserker is probably dead. I might have to switch him to a one prizer this turn. That was not good. Yeah, not, not, a good, not a good turn for me. We'll see if we can draw anything here. That's not what I'm looking for. Where's my energy at, bro? Okay, we do have Entei in the deck. We have our own Palkia. Palkia is going to be good too, I guess. Let's grab Palkia. I can Nest Ball for Entei V. Is it too early to get Entei? Honestly, it might be too early to grab Entei. Oh, I don't have Radiant Greninja in the deck, I just realized. Crap. I'll get Raikou. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to Iono, to be honest, but, like, my hand is so bad I have to. We have no Radiant Greninja, so we have to find a way to get... We have to get Heavy Ball. They did not get there. Hmm. Well... That's a feeling fine. That f it does not feel so fine in my books. Okay, this hand's a little better. We got Vessel. Okay, eh, it's not bad, actually. All right, this hand's, this hand's a bit better. We can do can do a couple more antics with this hand. I don't know. Maybe I should have got Entei instead of Raikou. The logic behind getting Raikou here was I didn't want to bench Entei and have it get immediately KO'd by my opponent's Palkia. That's why I didn't want to grab it. They found their Heavy Ball. That's not good. Yes, yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay, they failed the Heavy Ball, which is good. Hmm. We'll see what else they do here. Pokestop. Okay, they did get three cards. They got a counter catcher. If they're not playing Cross Switcher, then maybe I should have grabbed Entei then with that. But like if you're playing at School Dengo, you have to assume they have Cross Switcher. That's why I didn't want to grab Entei, because I don't want to like get Cross Switcher killed by Palkia. In a perfect world, they whiff the knockout here. I don't think we live in a perfect world though, unfortunately, folks. Hopefully my Berserker survives. We just didn't have the turn one we wanted. Probably have to try to... I don't even want to attack with Palkia. Oh, they're going to go on a right? Oh, are they going to go with their Palkia? Sorry. Okay, if they have a boss here, that would suck. If they don't have a boss, we can Lightning Rondo knock them out. Actually, okay. If they do boss me, I can actually Thornton into Raikou and knock out Palkia. I mean, they're still getting two prizes. I mean, this matchup is pretty bad if my opponent gets the first two prizes on me, and it looks like they are. Okay, do they have a boss? No boss. Okay. So we can knock out the Palkia here with Raikou. That's not bad, actually. If I had Radiant Greninja, that'd be nice, but... Yeah. We'll take a kill with Raikou. At least we can do this. Alright, what do we draw? Another Luminous Energy is pretty Gucci. Uh, is there any sequencing things I need to do here? I'm going to Fleet Footed first before I do anything. Okay. Then we'll Melanie to the Raikou. Okay. I'm going to Vessel away water for dark and water. And we'll Ultra Ball. Do I just grab Entei V now and hope they just don't boss knock it out? Because I have Thornton. So yeah, we'll grab Entei. They have Counter Catcher, but we're going to be tied in prizes. So the Counter Catcher isn't going to do anything. Dire Flame Wings. Can Ultra Ball for Palkia V-Star here? 
I don't really want to, though. Nothing to get rid of. This hand's pretty... I guess I can get rid of the escape rope. I'll spell escape rope. I could get Bibberl, too. Nah, I think I'm just gonna... I'll just play the Collapse Stadium. And I'll just knock out Palkia. I don't think the Pokestop bump there is gonna matter, but we might as well just get rid of their Pokestop just in case. Alright, what do we got of the prizes? Heavy Ball and Bravery Charm. The Heavy Ball is not bad. I don't think we're going to win, though. The only way I can win this game is if my opponent doesn't have a... I need them to not have back-to-back -back knockouts here. I think they're just going to win by taking... They're just probably going to win because they got the first two prizes of the match. That's the sad reality of this game. They're probably just going to win this match because they took the first two prizes. If they didn't take the first two prizes, I probably am fine to win the game at this point, right? Because then I go Entei Knockout... And then we just kind of have either game with, like, a Palkia V-Star KO, or we could Thornton Moltres into Entei twice. Like, yeah, but can't do that. I think we're just going to lose because we went, um, because we lost the first two prize cards. They mill a boss and a worker. Okay, well, if they whiff the knockout here, there's a chance. They have two Palkias? They're playing two Palkias. There's no way they don't have a Goldengo here, right? How have they not seen a Goldengo yet? Okay, well, if they whiff a Goldengo, then maybe there's a chance. But there's no way they whiff Goldengo here. There's actually no way they're whiffing the Goldengo. I refuse to believe it. Hmm. Even if, well, even if, like, they do whiff, I'm still probably going to lose if they just attack me next turn and knock me out. Even if I go down to three prizes, it doesn't matter. I'm still screwed either way. Do they actually not have a Goldengo here? Super Rod. If they bench Palkia, we can maybe try to gust it. They actually put both Palkias back. I mean, they can't really use Palkia anymore, though, to be fair. Because my opponent doesn't have a... Uh... Let's put all the gimmies down. My god, they actually don't have a Goldengo. No way. Okay, there we go. I still don't think this is enough. The best play I can make is Bravery Charm and Prey? Is that even a good play, though? I'm going to Heavy Ball. And then... Fleet Footed. I might just have to go... We got Luminion. That's not going to be enough, though, to matter. See, if my opponent benched the uh, Palkia V again, I could have just boss knocked it out. And then I would have definitely won the game. Right? I don't really want to KO this Gimme Ghoul, because then I give him Counter Catcher, but I have to take two prizes. I could go into Greninja for a turn and wait for them to evolve. They are down a boss. I just don't know if they're playing Cross Switch or not. My thought process might actually... I don't know. Going into Greninja here kind of does make some bit of sense. I guess I can attack with Greninja. We can go Greninja this turn and just attack with it, I guess. Yeah, okay. I think this is probably what we should be doing. We should just be attacking with... The Greninja. Do we just get rid of the escape rope? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll attack with Greninja. Because we're going to force my opponent to gust me here. No, but they just have the counter catcher in their hand, though. See, this doesn't really matter. Oh, this is actually really annoying. I need to wait for them to go Goldengo first, I think. Hmm. I need to wait for them to go into the first gold mango. But then... Mishra just gave him Bidoof. I don't know if they play two boss or not, though. They're playing counter catcher. I don't know if they're playing cross switchers, though. That's the other issue. We have, we have the opportunity to win, but if I attack kill this Gimme Ghoul, they just go counter catcher, gold mango, knockout, and then I probably just lose at that point. I think we just have to pass. I don't know. This is actually really bad. I This is such a bad situation to be in regardless. I just need I need them to kill my Greninja first. I don't know. This is just not good. Because, like, if I kill this Gimme Ghoul, we know they have a Counter Catcher in their hand. If I can get rid of the Counter Catcher with an Iono, then maybe we go for it. Bro, I don't know. If only they put a Palkia down. Had they benched another Palkia V there, I would have just went Luminion, Boss, KO Palkia with Raikou. And we would have just kind of had a Checkmate scenario on the board with Entei, Moltres, Thornton, or whatever. I gotta hope they don't have a Cross Switcher. They're playing counter catcher, so I have no idea if they're playing cross switcher or not. This is just really awkward. I just don't know what's what they have. I just gotta hope they 
fall for the bait and kill my Pelkia. See, they play double counter catcher. Okay, see, now I'm glad I decided to stay on... Now I'm, deci I'm glad I we decided to stay tied on prizes. Even if I Iono there, they would have just had another counter catcher regardless. So it's like, good. I just gotta hope they just don't Gust knock me out. I just gotta hope they just take a one... If they take a one prize knockout here, theoretically we should be able to win the game. But I need them to just take out my Greninja this turn. I need them to not boss a two prizer. Like, if I literally choose a two prizer, the game ends. The game like, immediately ends. So I need them to not knock out a two prizer this turn. I need them to take one prize here on my Greninja. If they do that, I think we have a shot of winning this game. I, must, I mean, if they don't hand a shot me, we have game in hand pretty... Well, no, we still need a, another energy for Entei. But I have Raihan. I can grab Luminous Energy. I have Palkia, which can also KO Goldango in one hit. So we don't really... Assuming our board stays full. But it should be okay. All right. We need them to not go for a two-prize KO here. All right. Let's go. Now I think I have a shot of winning the game. This is all I had to do this. I had to give them the one-prize option. I didn't have a choice. And it worked out. Okay. It worked out. All right. All right. Sick. There's still a chance. Go to our top deck. Melanie. I think it is better to rye on here, though, obviously. Actually, theoretically, if I get Rock Sand, I'd rather draw... Well, I need Thornton. Hmm. Does it matter if I do Melanie or Raihan here? I don't think so, to be honest. We can go Raihan and just guarantee Luminous Energy. I need two basics to type of Palkia. Okay, I think it is correct to Raihan. The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking it is correct to Raihan. We just grab Luminous Energy, and if they don't get rid of my hand... Ooh, I can get Four Seal Stone, actually. I think that's just better. Just grab four seal stone. I doubt they play a vacuum or anything. And then we'll just knock out. Yeah, it's correct to grab four seal there. Because now my opponent um if they Iono me, I just have four seal stone for potentially game. I still need an energy for the Moltres, but four seal stone I need energy Thornton. Yeah, I think four seal stone was correct there. It just makes it easier for us to win if they, like, rock sand me too or something. Like, if they don't get rid of my hand, we do just have game. We have game in hand. We have the knockout on the Goldengo with the Thornton combo. If my opponent over bench it, if they bench another basic here, we can also just win with Palkia. So there is that. We'll see what they got here. They are down a rock sand. There's rock sand in the discard. I think they play one. They actually might not have it. Yeah, looking at their discard here, they're already down... A Roxanne. They might not have one then, to be honest. And that's game. We have game in hand. We got the busted Thornton into the Entei. If my opponent benches a Palkia V here, we can also win the game with Palkia V Star if we can find another basic, which we can guarantee with four Seal Stone plus Bench Luminion. So I think we got this game wrapped up. Let's see. Does my opponent have anything? There's a Pokestop. TM at Devolution. That's definitely a card to play in Gold Knight. Why? Actually, why would you play TM Devo? You don't need it. <laughs> the only matchup that card is good is Charizard, but you already beat Charizard. All right, whatever. Anyways, we won the game. My opponent did not get rid of my hand here. They smartly did not bench other Palkia. So we had to go all in here on this four seal stone play, it looks like. So that's good. The Thornton four seal stone combo is going to pan out for the dub. Let's go. Let me just pop the four seal stone first. Grab the luminous energy. Sick combo, bro. And Thornton. And Entei. They didn't see that one coming. It's a knockout, right? 320? Okay, cool. GG's. Yeah, this was kind of an interesting matchup. We got to use a lot of our, like, decks, like, synergy, though, with, like, the Thornton and stuff. And obviously, you pick and choose your main attackers for specific matchups. Like, as you can see here, the Entei V is really good against Goldengo. That's why we do play one Entei in the deck. And you can see why the Glary Moltres is good. Not only for the energy switch synergy, but also just to do plays like that. Where you can use Thornton and you already have an energy on it from the Dire Flame Wings. We're up against an Arc Pile deck. Honestly, that's fine. Our start actually could lend us to a Zapdos turn one. We'll see what Arc deck this is. Um, they are going first, which kind of sucks. But they just have an energy card here. It is pretty bad, obviously. Oh, they don't. Okay, can I get this turn one knockout? Maybe? It's possible. We need to move Squawka Billy out of the active, though. Yeah, we'll grab Zapdos. I think we just go for it. We just say, screw it, Melanie. Okay. Not bad. 
We can Schnest Ball for Palkia or Greninja? Probably Greninja, right? Yeah. I think we have it. We have the turn one knockout, right? Because we can go Dire Flame Wings to the Moltres. And then we can Energy Switch to the Squawkabilly. Oh, it's sick. Dirty, dirty deck. I would like to collapse here, but I do need to get rid of this hand. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to collapse Squawkabilly off the board. It's fine. Another Ultra Ball is good. Could Ultra Ball here. We can save for Luminion for boss next turn, though. So I'm just going to knock out the active. Sick. Let's go. Turn one Zapdos knockout on Arc. Let's go. All thanks to the Galarian Moltres. And we get some prizes. Ooh, we got an escape rope. That's pretty good, too. I mean, that would have worked, obviously, but it was prized. Okay, now we're in a pretty good spot. My opponent... I mean, they could Raihan me. They could theoretically still go Arceus, V-Star, Raihan, Choice Belt, Knockout. Maybe. I mean, if they do that, then I am punished for not grabbing Zapdos. Or Zapdos, sorry. Palkia. Maybe I should have grabbed Palkia then, actually. Okay, they don't have it. They do Iono me, though, which... Gets rid of my hand, but good thing we got Bidoof in place, so we are a little protected here. Or we're not. This hand's not great. Uh-oh. They get a path down. This could be pretty bad. Unless I draw another Melanie. That was a pretty good Iono. Oh, they're playing Armor Rouge. Okay, we definitely want to get Palkia out then. That means they're not playing uh, Thing. This is actually kind of bad. I can't put Luminous Energy on Zapdos. So I actually... Unless they bench other V Pokemon, I have no way to kill the Arceus here. Oh, God. Might have the Greninja, the Luminous Energy, away. Oh, they're playing Charizard. Never mind. It's not Armor Rouge. It's friggin' Charizard. Alrighty then. What do we draw? No! Stop giving me Luminous Energy, bro. What? Oh, God. It's not what I need. It's pretty bad. It was actually so grief we had to draw double Luminous Energy because I can't put on Zapdos here. We can conceal one of the Luminous Energies away, but that feels so bad. I need them for Shaman and stuff. They have a two-card hand. What are the chances they have for a Candy Charizard? Probably really high, right? Nah, we'll get rid of the Luminous. I need to get this knockout. Okay. Thank you for giving me more Luminous Energy. Why am I drawing all my Luminous Energy? We have Luminion here for Iono. I think I have to. This is grief. I don't really want to give him six new cards, though, but I don't I can't afford to research, obviously. This hand is too good. I want the Iono. I just need an energy for Zapdos. There we go. We hit Melanie 2, which isn't bad. Okay, this isn't too bad. We just have the KOE uh, Charizard to win the game now, so that's good. All right, let's go. Zapdos, let's go. The birds, baby, the birds. They also probably had double... They probably had the Rare Candy Charizard in their hand last turn. They probably Starbirth for it, or they grabbed double Charmander. I mean, I might have Iona them into it. I probably did. Honestly, we have time to win this. We just need two turns to set up Shaman. That's about it, so... We just get Bibberl set up. We're probably chilling. If they whiff here, too, I, this game's pretty much wrapped up if, if they whiff the knockout this turn. They, like, have to get Rare Candy Charizard off this Iono. Or else I probably do just win the game. Oh, my God. They whiffed. Let's go. So, we get Melanie to the Zapdos. The Zapdos is actually just sweeping them. And there's the Bibberl. All right, sick. And now we can... Greninja... Nice. We can Dire Flame to the Moltres. Might as well play the Four Seal Stone. And then... I don't think I need to attach water. I might as well save it. There's no real place to put it. I'm just going to take a knockout. We don't have game in hand just yet. Um, which is kind of awkward. I am expect. Well, okay. We theoretically can win. We're either going to win with an escape rope if they bench another basic that I can knock out with Moltres, or we can vessel three times and then thin our hand down, Bibberol, try to get into a... Sh well, we don't even... We can't even win this turn with Shaman anyways. Maybe I should have put the Forest Seal somewhere else. I actually don't have game with Shaman just yet. There's Charizard. Zapdos took four prizes. That's crazy. We can't win just yet with Shaman, though. Shaman doesn't even win the game. We have to wait another turn, so... 
I mean, we just smacked them with Moltres or something. And then I probably shouldn't have put the Forest Seal Stone on the Moltres. And there's the Iono. I was expecting to get Ionoed here. Again, I could win with Escape Rope. My opponent literally just benches another basic I win with Rope. They kind of have to, though, because I can put pressure on the Charizard. So I think we just win no matter what. Yeah. Unless they have to mention Arceus here for me not to win. If they mention Arceus, though, I could win with Thornton. Alright, that's game. <laughs> we don't even have to shame in this Charizard. My opponent just benched enough basics for me to win. They kind of had to, though, because I was just going to set up two attacks here to two-shot this Charizard, which also would have worked. But yeah, looking back, maybe I should have Force Seal Stone the Luminion, not the Moltres, because I still... If, if worst-case scenario, we couldn't win this turn, I did need some time to knock them out. So I probably should have just put the Force Seal Stone on another Pokemon, because I would have probably just swung with Moltres this turn anyways. Um, it doesn't really matter. We can just... Melanie to the Luminion, and then, yep, rope. Not sure why I promoted Moltres. It doesn't matter, though. We have game. We had game anyways. We had energy attachment plus dire flame. Yeah, I don't know why I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I promoted Moltres. Whatever. It worked out anyways. We got the dub. That's all that matters. Yes, deck's pretty sick. All right. Bye-bye, Charizard. Yeah, once we got Bibril set up, we were probably just big chilling here. There's nothing my opponent really could have done to stop me. Yeah, if I wasn't winning this turn, I would have just had to... I mean, I could just attack the Charizard and two-shot it. Or we can set up the Shaman, right? Which would have won the game after they knocked out another Pokemon. So I think Charizard needs four prizes for Shaman to KO it. All right, we opened up with a Luminion. We're up against Tinkaton, though, which honestly isn't a bad matchup. We have Berserker, which is kind of funny. We actually have a Metal Pokemon. Our starting hand, however is, um, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Not terrible. Starting Luminion is, like, horrible. But we do have Collapse Stadium. I don't think I can do it this turn. Unless I can draw... If I can get a VIP, I guess we can go Collapsed. Which I'd like to do. All right, we can beat Tinkaton. We, Tinkaton's fine. We do have a few tricks up our sleeve, including Galarian Berserker. We can Iono them here, too, I guess. We might want to save Iono, though, because it's good in this matchup, too. Okay, let's nuts ball. Check our prizes. Berserker's in there. Greninja. Ooh, Palkia V is prized. We do have our heavy ball, though. We're probably going to need the Palkia here, so that's going to be pretty important. I kind of don't want to leave Luminion in the active. Like I said, I would prefer to try to do the Collapse Stadium here. Entei? Okay. I just have to retreat Entei for a turn. Retreating Entei Iono is, I think, the play here. I don't really want to go into Entei. Or I don't really want to Iono them now. Because, like, it's such a good card in the later half of the game. But it's not leaving me much of a choice. Yeah, I'm going to have to Iono. I really hate to do this. My only Iono. Okay, we got Melanie for next turn. We got Raikou. We got the Galarian Moltres. Okay, let's sleep footed first. See what I got. Nice. Well, Bench Moltres. I need a Perserker now. That's our goal next turn. I want to get Berserker right away and just knock out Tinkaton. Hmm. I don't know. Prizing Palkia is really bad. Because we probably want to just use Palkia early on in the game, too. I got to hope they just don't have Rurikini Tinkaton here. I got to hope they just didn't get Rurikini Tinkaton. Okay, they got Manaphy. There goes my planes eventually going Greninja. Nimona. Rurikini Tinkaton. They actually hit it. Okay, wow. They need a double turbo energy here to attack me. If they have Rare Candy Ticket on double turbo, it's going to be a little annoying. It's not ideal if they have that. They might not evolve the active, though, knowing that I can just attack with Entei. We'll see what they do. Yeah, see, I knew it. They were going to evolve the bench guy. Yikes, dude. <laughs> oh, they hit it. Nimona's backpack. Okay. They can Rodom for three. Unfortunately, I can't go boss this turn. Knock out Rodom. It'll be pretty good if I do that, obviously. Oh, there's the heavy ball. Oh, we need Bidoof too, I guess. We probably... Eh. Okay, well, hold up. Let me... Let me go Fleet-Footed. And then let me Greninja here. Get rid of this Dark Energy. There's Boss. Hmm. Come on, a Melanie to the Entei. Let's see what we get off this. So we know when, okay, we know they're not probably going to do the uh, thing. What's the thing? I'm trying to think what the thing is. They're probably not going to get rid of my hand with an Iono. Hmm. 
Do I just... I think I just knock them out and hope we don't get killed in return. That's all I can do. I need to get... I need to get Berserker. We have the Berserker for next turn, though. But I don't have Luminous Energy, so I gotta hope to get Luminous Energy. I should maybe keep the Bench Spot open. Because if they just go Tinkaton here and don't KO Entei, then I want to be able to try to Berserker them, so... Hoping for a Luminous Energy off the prizes. That's not a Luminous Energy. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have benched Palkia then. You can still get Luminous. I mean, we still have two in the deck. We can still draw into it next turn with, like, Greninja plus Melanie and stuff and Fleet Footed, but we'll see. I need them to not KO me. If they do... Okay, well, okay. If if they don't knock me out here, I'm just probably going to go boss KO Rodom then, right? Yeah, we'll boss KO the Rodom and then figure it out from there. Or you can boss KO the uh, other Tingaton. I got to hope they can't get a knockout this turn. They have 10 cards, though. Thankfully, Entei is the squishiest... Or not the squishiest Pokemon we could have in the active. They could have a Nimona's backpack, though, and farm me. Oh, my God. This is bad. I need a knock at KO'd here. Oh, no. Entei, please survive the turn. If Entei lives, we can boss kill the Tinkatuff. Or the Tinkaton. That might be better to kill the other Tinkaton. Oh, they do play Iono. Oh, God. Okay, the fact they play Iono is not good. There's a Tinkaton. Oh, boy. Eight cards in hand. Can they pull off a knockout here? There's double turbo. No, they got Nimona's backpack. No, that's plus two. Is eight cards enough to KO me? It might be. I don't know how much this thing is doing. I wish I had Bravery Charm here. No, they could have a boss in hand too, obviously. I need them to not KO me. Oh my god, let's go. I didn't know how much damage they were doing, but thank heavens Entei's got... Oh, we drew the Berserker. We're probably not using it this turn, though. It's like, like I said, probably a boss angle. Thornton's pretty sick. Yo, I could Thornton knock him out here. Nah, I think definitely the play is to boss, right? Is it, though? Is the play really to go boss? Hmm. Thornton honestly isn't terrible, but I, I need to clean up the game with Berserker. I think it is correct to boss here. Kind of like promoting Raikou as like a pivot. I like it in Palkia though, because it is also very tanky. All right. Uh, I don't even really want to put that energy in play. Probably should though. All right. We don't need to KO Rodom because I could just go two two two. Um, okay, on this Tinkatuff is honestly very tempting. Killing the Rodom is also pretty good because we get a nice two prize lead against them, though. Because we can go 2 2 2 if we KO this Tinkatuff, right? But I like. No, I think we kill the Rodom because I need this Luminous Energy off the prizes. I need to get Luminous Energy out of the prizes here, so I think I have to kill the Rodom. I need to increase the chance of getting Luminous. Come on, Luminous 4 5. Yes! Nice. Good. So we need to be able to kill Tinkatuff next turn with the uh, Berserker. It's weak to metal, right? Yeah, okay, good. All right. Ooh, they're playing my low tick. That's not good. No Iono, so we guarantee the KO here. We just need to go KO and then Thornton for game. That's pretty much that. The only downside is I guess I can't go boss KO something else. I could try to rope for game, though, at the end of the game, potentially. If they do Iono me, though, we might lose. This is kind of down to whether or not they have an Iono at the end of the game. I need to get Mew EX in play. Honestly, benching Palkia might have been a mistake, because I might need Mew EX. They can knock me out the other Tinkaton, but if they go down that route, we can kill with Palkia and then go Berserker for game. Okay, they died. That's fine. All right, Entei. So we get to keep the energy with Jirachi. Put that on the Palkia. We'll just promote Moltres here, I think. So we can just Dire Flame. Okay, what's our top deck? Mew. Yeah, I have to go. I have to go down this route. I have a choice. All right. Schmelany. Let's go, baby. What do we got? Didn't get much. We'll put that there. We'll Ultra Ball. Wait, these two. Grab Palkia. Still four seal stone alive. We still have options. Yeah, we still have options. Do I just play the switch, maybe? Just switch into this guy, save the energy on the Moltres? Yeah. Save the switch, sure. 
I really wish I had Mew in play, though. Hmm. It's going to thin a little bit. Do I ever grab an energy here? Because we could just literally win the game if we can find this Thornton or Rope or something. Can probably thin one energy out. It's probably not the end of the world if we just grab, like, an extra energy. I could do Concealed Cards. I don't really want to do Concealed here, though. I think we just take the knockout with Treasure Rush. Now, there's not really a reason to Conceal there, I don't think. I don't want to draw too many cards and get iono into a bad hand. So, yeah, I'm going to avoid that. It would have been really good to get Bidoof out, too. I don't know. If they do Iono me, that would actually be pretty tragic. But they go Tinkaton. This thing does not KO my Berserker. If they attack with Tinkaton here, we just win the game with Palkia. This is why it was good to take out the Rodon then, because now we can go 2-2-1-1 two, two, one, one, instead of 2-2-2. Two, two, two. That's why KO and Rodon might have just been correct. Also, yeah, I needed the Luminous Energy, which I did whip. So it was actually correct to just go for the Rodon KO there. But now it's coming in clutch. If my opponent... Well, this thing can't even kill my uh, my Berserker. They have to go Tinkaton X to knock me out here. If they attack me with this guy, I just win. They have to have an Iono. They have to Iono KO me, but I don't think they can afford... Well, no, they have the Milotic. Okay, they can see the game. We got there, baby. Let's go the Lumbox for the win. Yeah, that's an interesting matchup. Berserker is definitely the main attacker, and we did use it. And there you have it, folks. That is my V-Box Pile deck in action with the three Galarian Birds, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. I know we didn't use Articuno in this video, but theoretically, it might have been useful if we played against a deck weak to Psychic, which there just isn't that many of them out there. But I did, of course, use Moltres and Zapdos a lot. I mean, these were always the better birds over the Galarian Articuno anyways, but you know what? It's for the content. Honestly, this deck isn't that bad. You're kind of just like a counter box deck pretty much with all the different types. The Galarian Moltres is really good in the deck just because you do get access to to the Energy Switch Dire Flame Wings combo, which is really good. And, of course, having access to Thornton Moltres is really good. Because in the late game, if you want to Thornton out another attacker to attack twice in a row for weakness, you need the Thornton, and the Moltres is one of the best ways to do that because it has its own energy acceleration system. I like the list, though. I don't know what other Pokemon you could add to the deck, to be honest. Um, I thought about maybe trying to fit an Iron Hands EX in here as an attacker. It's hard to power it up, though, because you can't Melanie to it, but... Who knows? But yeah, thanks for watching the video on my V-Box deck on the three Galarian Birds. I'm going to miss the Galarian Birds, man. I'm a big fan of Moltres, and I'm going to miss the Galarian Birds quite a bit. Hope you enjoyed the video on today's pile deck. If you did, leave a like. If you did the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 57 thousand subs thank you all once again full support on the channel if you missed yesterday's upload i opened up an early booster box and an etb of temporal forces that were sent to me by pokemon so you definitely want to go check that video out if you want to see what the hits are like in the temporal forces etb and booster boxes but thanks for watching check out my second channel down below i did a video where i looked at the top 10 best cards in temporal forces and that'll be it for me hope you all had a good day and bye bye